troubles to the moon. Dick Powell with Victor Young and the orchestra, and I'm sitting high on a hilltop. And before that, Annette Hanshaw, back by the University Six, and high up on a hilltop. Here are rapidly rotating records. I'm Glenn Edison, and we'll have more from Rudy Valley and his Connecticut Yankees right after this. Now, no offense to anyone out there named Hubert, but if I were born Hubert, I'd be inclined to change my name. But Rudy Valley himself didn't change his name from Hubert to Rudy. In the fall of 1921, he entered the University of Maine and joined the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity, where fellow fraternity members, knowing of his great love of Rudy Weedoff's playing, nicknamed him Rudy Valley. In the fall of 1922, he transferred to Yale University. Yale, of course, is in Connecticut, which accounts for his later use of the orchestral name Connecticut Yankees. While at Yale, he worked for his tuition by playing his sax at country clubs, various social functions, and at the school dances. It was while playing with the Yale Collegians that he took to using a megaphone to enhance his slight voice. The megaphone became one of his trademarks and was copied by other vocalists of the day in as much as microphone and amplifier systems were not yet well developed. Here's Rudy Valley and his Connecticut Yankees in 1930 and reminiscing. Oh. 